Good morning. Thanks for joining us. People are in Sioux Falls are waking up to a lot of storm damage. City officials are holding a news conference right as we speak. Let's send it out there. Todd Height Camp with the National Weather Service is going to talk about that, some of the specifics of what we saw with the weather and the wind speeds and so forth. Um, but shortly after that weather passed through, uh, the city of Sioux Falls went into action and uh, set up our emergency operations center, uh, which is uh, right on the other side of the wall here. And so we've been in there for uh, about four hours doing the uh, assessment of, uh, of what has happened, what we've seen, uh, the damage, uh, as you know. Uh, this happened when it's dark, and it's still dark. So there's still uh, a lot that we don't know until the sun comes up. And so there, uh, but things that we do know is that there is significant damage throughout the city, um, and we've heard of some um, some some large damage to places like uh, Avera and Behavioral Health, and uh, and the 41st and Western area uh, appears to be an area that was hit specifically hard as well. Uh, and so. We're anxious for the sun to come up here so that we can uh, get a better look at what, what we're facing. Um, we did already set up uh, SiouxFalls.org slash storm, which will end up being a, uh, a resource where we'll post all the information related to this, uh, this event. Um, we're working with a lot of community partners already, uh, both of our healthcare systems, Excel Energy, Mid-American Energy, um, the National Weather Service the School District uh, has recently announced they're going to, uh, them and Sioux Falls Catholic Schools, uh, Harrisburg are all going to be two hours late. We encourage them to do that so that they could all get a lay of the land before they uh, go to school this morning. And so they've done that. Um, the Red Cross, uh, Minnehaha County Emergency Management, uh, Minnehaha and Lincoln County Sheriff's Offices as well. So the Red Cross has opened a, uh, a shelter at the Armory on the Sioux Empire Fairgrounds for people who have been displaced by the storm. So that is, uh, as of about a half hour ago, is, is open and is running. Uh, we intend to, again, as we did this spring with our weather events, uh, work with the Helpline Center to uh, shore up volunteers. Uh, we do have people who already wanted to volunteer, and as you, you've seen, uh, there's a significant amount of, uh, of tree damage in our city um, all over. And so there's going to be a pretty substantial cleanup effort that's going to have to be undertaken. So we'll be working with the 211 Helpline Center um, when they open this morning to put the logistics together on that. Um, I also, our city attorney just uh, got here this morning as well, and he'll be working with our finance team to um, draft a, an emergency declaration for the city. Uh, again, what that basically allows the city to do is, uh, is expedite some of our, uh, our purchasing power to kind of go around um, competitive bid processes that the city normally has to follow in order to expedite some equipment that we're going to have to purchase to, uh, to deal with some of the impacts of the storm. So um, again, the big thing I want to stress today is, um, is that we have a, a very resilient city. I think resilience is a word that really describes Sioux Falls. Um, and I want the citizens to know that you have an absolutely excellent team uh, man in the, our emergency operations center with those community partners. So the city is in good hands. Uh, I'm also very happy to report that as of right now, we have no known uh, casualties and even no known uh, serious injuries. And it's not to say they have it, they don't exist. Um, but again, what's known to us uh, is that uh, neither of those exist. So. Where uh, I've been texting with, uh, with Bob Sutton and Dave Fleecheck um, at Avera McKenna and Avera Health this morning and keeping in touch with them. As, as you know, they, their facilities at the Heart Hospital and Behavioral Health were significantly damaged in this as well. Um, and they both reaffirmed to me that while they had some injuries out there, nothing was, was serious. And they're working on the relocation of some of the patients and some of their um, clients that have been affected by the weather. So. Uh,